Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Georgina Otaku, so if you're new here, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for clicking and watching this video. Today I have with me my sister. Hi, my name is Anita. Okay, so basically this channel brings your way, lifestyle, fashion, travel and vlogs. Today we're going to be doing something kind of different. We're going to be reviewing a new series that we just recently finished watching on Netflix. Um, what's the title? Of um, the title of the series is Too Hot to Handle. So, yeah, Too Hot to Handle. So, basically, today we're going to be telling you guys our best and worst moments on the series. On the series, um, our best, the best couples for each of us, the couple we thought yeah. we felt were, were better, and also our best characters, like male and female. Yeah, and just the people like we're rooting for while watching the just series. Just like a full summary. Of what to expect and um, how we felt about it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Welcome back, guys. So before we jump right into reviewing the show, we hope you guys are keeping safe um, and. Um, respecting or listening to your health regulators on the advice that we've given hope you are self-isolating and taking care of yourself praying that this ends soon because i know it's like a lot for a lot of people you know and um yeah we hope you guys are safe so let's jump right into the first um the first piece of discussion. Oh, so uh, we're going to start with our best characters on the show. So best character, um, male and female. So who was your best character, female? Mm, female. I think for me, the best female character will be Francesca. Would be my female character best. Yeah. So my own best male character is Rhoda. Rhoda. So um, why I liked her on the show was that she brought that melanin, you know, vibe. Uh, she was always. Um, from the beginning, she felt like she was the most mature female on that show. She right. did not hold anything back. She was ready to risk it all and find love, which yeah. was the whole essence of the show. So for me, my best character was Ronda, like beginning to the end. She was true to herself and she knew what she wanted and yeah, so. So best male character. Male character. Oh, okay, yeah. I think for me, my best male character Harry. Um, so, sincerely for me, in the beginning of the show, I considered him as. Mm -hmm. I think um, he grew. I, I what, what I liked about Harry was he was also true. He was true. I like people that have true personalities, no matter the circumstance they find themselves. So Harry stood out to me because he was young compared to the others. He wasn't so mature, but he grew in like he grew in a new way. And um, I think he, he became a better a better version of himself. So yeah, I think Harry was my I would say he's the male character that stood out for me. For me, my the best male character for me is Kel, the accountant. Like who's not to love? <laughs> Obviously, I'm an accountant. That apart, I like the fact that he wanted everybody to be accountable for for themselves and their actions. Like yeah. the guy didn't come there to play. He was if you see his facial expressions, like anytime. Lana comes up and says someone has breached like the house rules. The guy's face would just go down. He was, like, money. He was not dead <laughs> play at all. At least even if he didn't find love per se, he made sure everybody like I'm sure if Kels was not there, the accountant, if he wasn't there, I'm sure that money would have like people would have just been doing whatever they liked and yeah. they would have not cared about the consequences for. Yeah, my best new character is Kels. I think I think Kels. he he showed himself as a true Nigerian. Yes, he he's all he about the Nigerian. It's all about the money. You, know, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. So um, on to the next um, item. So the best moments on the show. So uh, I'm gonna start by saying my best moment on the show. The best moment on the show for me was. At the final season, the final episode, when um, Lana told Harry and Francesca to go and spend like the last night at the I suite, know. like the private room, yeah. everybody thought, and I think she actually promised them that if they could stay apart for the whole night, she was going to give them back all the money they had spent, you know, 
drag show and everybody was like why i'm sure they were like why harry and francesca why why not ronda sharon why harry and francesca and then even like they even like the suspense was really high because at that part the way she was chasing him all around the room i was like oh my god this part this, can't this just stay up can you just respect this thing and just do it and um the next day fast forward to the next day at the time when nana was speaking she gave a very dramatic post and you know suspense that everybody was like okay let's just have it they could not stay apart let's just know let's know that we've lost you know all the money and yeah. then it came out and it was like oh everybody was like very happy for them i was smiling from it yeah i was so happy i was glad that <laughs> so this guy can actually do this thing i didn't believe it and they got back I like at least all the money they spent and they had at least 75 k to share so yeah. what was your best moment um well i think my best moment um was when david had to speak to sharon um they had a situation where both of them were interested in Rwanda. Um, it, it stood out for me because it showed that David was ready to go through the process and he was willing to need to, to let Rwanda go, knowing that um, Sharon had more feelings for her. So I think it was, it was really a good moment because I don't think the show would have ended the way it did if the opportunity wasn't given so big up yeah. to david he yeah was like, bro you know he was like oh brother they love us because yeah. all that <laughs> on to the next um i the next item more so the best couples for us so they basically just two couples on the show at the end, at of, the the end show, of the show they yeah. just it just came out to have two couples so what was your like best couple uh i think my best couple would be ronda and sharon uh, reasons being that um, and compared to others, they were really mature, and um, the fact that I think they had more realities to deal with compared to the rest of the contestants. That's what I feel. Because uh, Rhonda had a child, and it was it was it was a big deal bringing a child into um, the whole scene that was happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and it, I think it was a big step for Sharon to also accept that. And um, I think they are more, they, they, they stand out to be like the realest couple because they have the real life cut out for them. Like it's going to be a whole lot to actually stay together. So I think they stand out as the best couple, and they they, they knew how to like respect boundaries. And I, for me, that that's that's it. Ronda and Sharon. Okay, so obviously my best couple were Harry and Francesca. Fight to each other, and they were like, okay, we have to do this, and. You know, even when they mess up, they agreed on it together and it was just it was just obvious that they couldn't just stay away from each other. They loved, you know, they were so much into each other in the show and at the end of the show they were still together. So to me, like after all the tribulations and trials and challenges, they still ended up together. That's why they're my best couples. So now the best uh, the last thing we're gonna talk about was our worst moments in that house? Yeah. The show entirely, like the worst moments. What was your worst? Uh, I think my worst moment would be when Harry, Harry, when Harry denied Francesca. Harry kissed Francesca, and it cost them three thousand dollars. And um, he actually he was the one that offered this kiss. Though I trust Francesca is very manipulative and sexy and all, but Harry offered this kiss, so he made the first move, and it was so annoying that he had to deny her. Her, if it was me, hmm. I don't think I'll go back to that. Yeah, that's that's the end sincerely, but it was really, it was really despicable. It was annoying. It was embarrassing, and I, I really, it, I really thumbs up to um, thumbs up to Francesca because as a lady, um, it was very emotional. So it was great that she could actually. Come back, come back to him even after that you know and no one believed her no one i don't even think to the end of the show anybody knows i don't think no one knew at the end of the day who kissed him first they yeah. just decided to they let just it go. yeah they just decided to let it go but that moment was bad harry it was bad for me uh, my worst moment would be when matthew left the house uh, so matthew was 
basically the like DJ. it was basically like a big brother to everyone yeah. so they also said like it was big brother to everyone he was always advising them he basically groomed harry i think a bit too yes, you know yes, the, the guy he came right at now. the end of the show yeah. and um harry just did a lot like I, sorry matthew did a lot i really i really like the fact that he he kind of risked it kind of he kind of tried but it didn't work out and i think the whole thing was getting to him like people were having relationships and yeah. everything and he felt like hey, what am i still doing in this house and stuff so even when he announced that he was leaving everybody was so emotional people were in tears, like, were in tears and they were yeah. not happy that he was leaving but for me that was like the worst moment because um, after that really missed him there was no he, he kind of always brought that vibe like once lana says somebody has built a house with you be like you did you do it who did it he was one always asking and lana, it was lana's and he had a connection with lana so uh, every time like every time he does something you go and hug lana if lana says something you go and hug lana and just yeah. uh, he just um gave a lot of humor to the to the show and made he was it a very cool guy i, I think the, the chance for him to find um, someone wasn't just wasn't just there but at least he played the game he tried uh, yeah, yeah. And it was sad that he didn't get to have his people get money at the end of the day. Yeah, that's true. That's because very sad. When he, when he very left, part, when he left, the others had to now share the money. So, yeah. um, so that brings us uh, to the end of reviewing the show. It was an interesting show. There was a lot a lot to learn from it on like other reality yeah. shows. Yeah. But, like for me, I've never been a fan of reality TV shows. Like I see them and like, well, there's really nothing to take home from it. But um, kudos to the producers, the script writers for this particular show to how to handle. They did an awesome job because um, you could actually um, pick lessons learned from the show and actually apply them to your mm -hmm. real life. Yeah. So it was awesome because it had like a mix of a lot of things. You could laugh. You, you it was a comedy part in it, so you could laugh about it. You could cry. You know, yeah, you could be so happy. There's so many emotional moments. So I think this show was really, really worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, so if you're looking for uh, a show to watch on Netflix, we recommend you watch it to handle. Yeah. It is what you know every it single what episode. Time, yeah. You know. Every single episode. So um thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comment section below your best characters, the best couple, best and worst moments. Best moments. Yeah. and what what you generally thought about the show and who were you you know rooting for who are you rooting for in the show let us know in the comment section below if you have not subscribed to my channel yet guys please click the subscription button yes. down below on the red box and also the bell mm -hmm. so that when uh, i put up my videos you'll be notified by youtube until next time and until our next review thanks guys for watching and see you next time bye, bye.